looking at this as a member of the public, it's extremely concerning. Uh, it looks bad and it possibly is bad. Harsh words from the official opposition who are calling on the provincial government to get its house in order after revealing more details about issues at the Ministry of Social Services. Last fall, the NDP raised concerns about a person who was charged more for a hotel room after social services started paying for it. That room was in the Sunrise Motel, which is owned by Saskatchewan Party MLA Gary Graywall. Today, the NDP revealed Graywall is also an investor in the Thrift Lodge in Regina. It also received business from social services, and the NDP says it also appears to have elevated its prices once the government started covering costs. These are two of the cheapest hotels on this list cheapest for you or I, but they're uh, charging some of the highest rates. And indeed, in the, in the case of the Thrift Lodge, the highest rate. Data released by the Ministry of Social Services to the NDP backs up their claims. In 2022-2023, the average cost per night at the Sunrise Motel for social services was $151, while the Thrift Lodge charged $186 per night. In both cases, that's more than double what those rooms would cost the general public right now. Over the course of that year, about half of the money spent on housing clients for social services in Regina went to those two hotels. Social Services Minister Gene Mikowski didn't agree to an interview today. Instead, he issued a statement. Mikowski says some hotels won't accept people on income assistance because of past issues. He says that limits the province's options. Some changes announced last week are meant to avoid this in the future. The ministry now needs three quotes from hotels before picking one to house clients. They also must enter into a formal contract with specific hotels in Saskatoon and Regina. The NDP says that's not enough. What I would expect from uh, the minister and from Premier Mo, to be honest, is to look into whether any of the other hotels utilized by the Ministry of Social Services has ties to SAS Party MLAs. Graywall didn't comment on these latest developments. Saskatchewan's auditor is supposed to look into all of this, but when we will get that report or what will come out of it isn't clear. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.